Okay, in this video, we're actually going to be redesigning our logo so it can be printed on t-shirt. Okay, this video actually is going to be right here in the space here. In the second video, I'm actually going to explain how if you want to actually, it's not part of the assignment, but if you want to preview what your uh, logo would look like on a t-shirt, I'll show you an additional video. It'll be in the second space here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I have to first I have to go back to that uh, logo assignment that I turned in my original logo with the one that has color on it. So that's part one. So I can download that logo because it's right here. Now I click on Adobe Illustrator, which is right here, Adobe Illustrator 2019. And I can open this up. And it's gonna look like, I'm sorry, look like this. So then I'm gonna click on open and I click on my logo that I just uh, downloaded. So I click on open. So I've got my logo here. What I'm gonna do is actually, um, again, I'm gonna say this again, it has, if you have essentials, you need to change it back to essentials classic so you can see all the two waters you need to see. Then you actually need to do the first thing, you need to create a new layer here. I would call it text. And then I'm going to, I click on the text and I click on the little dot and change it to the text layer. Okay. Uh, the second thing to do is I can turn off, uh, I don't need to register symbols. That was just for the assignment. So we can turn those off both of those okay so now i have option one and option two option one is if you create another logo frame or sketch so i'm going to show you how to do that one first so what we're going to do is actually change it like i said in the instruction change everything to black no matter what t-shirt color you have no matter what kind of vowel color you're printing on it all has to be black okay so basically we're going to click on the different swatches that are different uh, shapes here and we got to change them all so you get the swatches of the fill color needs to be changed. Fill color up here, and the swatches up here. Okay. Let's say I'm going to change the fill color, and it has to be black. So basically, we're going to change this all to black. So black over there, or black over here, whichever one you to do, it's fine. The one up here or the one up there. So I'm just going to use the one up there. It's black. I'm going to select all these. Hold the shift key down, and select all of these. And then change them all to black. Okay. Now you can see here, like a lot of these logos will be uh, very specific. So your specific logo might have to look a little different and might be have to have some different things done to it to make it work, uh, be printed on a t-shirt and you need to get my attention. Uh, raise your hand and I come over and have to be able to approve your logo before you turn it in. So get my attention before you get ready to turn your logo. So if you turn it in and you have not gotten my approval, and I'll create a list of people who have my approval, then I won't print those t-shirts until you get my approval. So for instance, like this one, it looks like it's done here, but you can see here it's got an inside color and like a little outline, kind of which we don't need an outline, so we're going to actually delete that. That would be the best solution for this logo. So again, your logo might be a little different, but you need to get my attention and get my approval uh, to find out which one, which problem, uh, which actual solution would be best. And this is actually deleting the outline here. Okay. So that's actually just completed this logo up here. So all of it logo has to be black. You can see here all the different shapes here, all the different shapes here. So in just all the negative spaces, I guess we call it, that's the t-shirt color has to be gray. Okay. And that's why I've put out in this open area. Okay. So that way I'll show you how to turn in later, but then let's say we're actually, this would be done with option one. Okay. So I'm going to go and delete that. Okay. I'll turn in, I'll tell you to turn in later. So now we're actually going to refer to option two. So let's say you did the option two. So you need to click on whatever you have a background. This is a particular for this exactly this logo. Yours might be totally different, might not have a logo, might not have an outline, but that's why I said you need to get my attention to uh, help you come up with a solution as far as the logo that you can print on the t-shirt. For this example, it has an outline, and we need to change that outline to black. So again, I'm saying this one more time, every logo will probably be different, but that's why you need to get my attention, okay? It might take a little while because um, have a lot of students, but I need to get around to everybody to make sure their logo looks right. So I'm going to click on 
all the different outlines here, even the outline for the little branch he's sitting on. This little outline. This little outline. That little outline. This little outline. This little outline. So all those need to be changed to black. Okay. But then I can actually click on everything that's actually touching the black line. So this is touching. Um, this is touching. This is touching. This is touching. This is touching. That's touching. And this is touching. And I can change all those to white. Yes, I got some other white areas, but this is just basically this can be white as well because it's touching black outline. But then they got the inside of the mouth; it can be black. Okay, sorry, um, scrolling. I'm not sure what I did. I'm holding my alt key, so alt key is in it. So those two areas can be black. So basically, you have the thing black, white, and then black. So it's alternating; it goes back and forth. To create the actual, still create the basically idea of the of the parrot, but I'm actually changing everything to black here. So I've got this black, white, black, white, black. So it's kind of showing like that. Okay. The last thing I did is change those to white. I can change these to black here. So I'm just going this back and white. Um, I probably actually just take all those and uh, change. Let's undo those. Try and move it under its place. So I can change that and this and this and this and this all to white. Yeah. And I've got some little there that I change this to white as well. Yeah. White as well. As a meant, I can see it over there. That and change to white. This can be changed to white. And again, this is for this specific logo uh, that needs to be this solution here. But again, your logo might actually be a little different. I can change these. Actually, just change both of those. Like shift key and select both of those and change to white. Now I'm going to zoom out and I can change these to um, white as well. I'll shift key down and grab. This one, this one, and this one there. And change the ones to white. Oh, I forgot one up there. Change it to white as well. Okay, so that would be the actual solution for this one. So I can still see a parrot. And this would actually be all the shift key. And this actually grabs, this touches that outline. So I'm going to change the white. Okay. And then um, the claw, the feet, the parrot. Shift key. Now it's called going to be black. So I'm kind of seeing like uh, changing everything in black and white. Um, and so probably this needs to be changed. Um, probably the white. Okay, this might be either. Okay. So I've got my little twig here standing out. Okay. So what I need to do is actually click on the layer. I put it on a text layer so I can hide that now. So I can click on everything for the parrot. And now I can bring him into the gray area. Okay. Now I've got everything to black and white. I need to delete everything that's white. I'll zoom in. I delete everything that's white and just delete it. So everything needs to be black. So I don't need white, but I just changed it to be able to kind of see. So that way it's easier to actually just click on what I need to delete. Delete, 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 delete. Okay, I'm delete this one, delete this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. And I'm going to screw them in because these are going to look small. Delete, delete, delete. This is all with a black arrow tool, the selection tool. And I've even got, oh, like, if I want to actually clean this up, I've got this little black thing. I can just uh, delete that. I'm not sure what that is. So I've got this. And actually, this little spot in here, I can change that to black because that needs to be changed. That's part of the, I guess, the feet. So it gets black. Okay. So I zoom out again. And this needs to be deleted as well. So delete. So everything actually deleted. And uh, this little part right here, this, like, uh, this little section that sticks off it, 
what I can do is I will need it since it's just extra. So I can just zoom in, Alt key, and then it just delete that portion out there. Okay, so deleting off of the uh, parrot thing. Okay, and so now I can click on the selection tool again. I select the entire parrot, and I click on uh, make compound path. So it's got a, like a, like a bag here. It's got a lot of little pieces here, but I need to join all those together. All those need to be the same kind of thing here. So I click on drag and select all of them. Right click and say so make compound path. So now you can actually see if you look at the layers here, it has more compound path. There. Actually, undo that. If I undo the compound path and click on the layers, see it's all the different layers here. Like for instance, like this. Actually, this layer here is red. I need to delete that. So I need to go through and make sure all of them are black here. So this layer here, I don't need that. Um, let's see that. Uh, that can be changed to black as well. So I need to go over at, have all these layers here and make sure all these layers are black. So I can scroll this down a little bit and make sure all these are black. So they are. Okay. Now I actually can grab that, all that. I just window everything and click right click and say make compound path. You can see it's all now in one lower layer here. Okay. <clears throat> So now I can turn on the text layer again, and then I can make that over here, period resource. Okay. So now it's uh, actually something I can now turn in. Okay. Now I need to actually click File and Save As, and I would save it as like T-shirt logo. Yeah, it as. So you click Save, and this would be uh, Save Illustrator. And then you can go back to Canvas here, and then we're going to turn that in. So click Upload, Choose, and then we're going to put our T-shirt logo. Not the one that we downloaded, the T-shirt logo. And you click Open, and then uh, Submit. The next assignment, then actually the next video I'm doing, is if you want to preview what your T-shirt will look like, then I will create a video for that. But this is all it. This uh, finishes this video.